yesterday's vlog for a reason it was really choppy I didn't like it um, I don't want to give you guys bad quality just because I'm trying to post every single day that's not my goal yes my goal is to make sure I have a video up for you guys every single day but I want it to have good content in it and yesterday I was so busy with so many things that it just didn't happen unfortunately <coughs> But, um, this video is to make up for it, and I will be vlogging today as well, but today, well, this video is a story time video, so, welcome to story time! You want to hear a JoJo story, don't you? I thought so. She's your favorite! <laughs> um, so I told you guys on yesterday no not yesterday well the video I posted yesterday I told you guys I'd probably be doing a story time about a really embarrassing moment that I had recently um, so that's what today's story is about um, like I said in the other video if you haven't watched it go ahead and click the link above to check that out <coughs> sorry I just woke up I got a lot of mucus going on. But, um, the only two people that know about this are my best friends. And, like I said, though, I'm sharing my life with you guys. I want to be 100% real. I want to be... Hold on. Let me turn off my fan. Sorry, you guys. It's going to be hot, so I'll be forgetting certain things sometimes. Relax, you're not going to die for a couple minutes without the fan. It's not that hot yet. Um, so, like I was saying, um, this is really embarrassing for me. Um, I'm in my 20s, and my best friend pointed out something that's pretty much true. The thing that happened to me happens to a lot of 20-year-olds, well, people in their 20s. Um, because they're normally partying, they're normally out there just doing crazy things, and, um, I'm not that person. I'm not. I'm not a partier, I'm not a clubber, I'm not, none of those things. I had, I did it for like a year, I was totally good on all that. I didn't like the person I was during the year, nothing like that. But, um, that's a whole nother story time within itself. Um, sorry, I keep saying, um, my brain's still processing. I just woke up not too long ago, you guys. I was a lazy person today. Yes, I was. I was, I was, was, I was long, long. But, um, sorry, excuse me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, this embarrassing moment happened the other day while I was at work. And... That's why it was so embarrassing, because I was out, in the open, at public, and it was work. And it was just like, ugh, what the fudge? That dryer's off balance. Um, but, it was just, I let life get me down, to be honest. Once it happened, I just, my whole day shut down. I was just done with everything. Luckily, it was towards the end of my work shift anyways, but I let life get me down. I let the devil come in and get me down, and it's a part of another reason why I want to tell you guys this story and let you guys know what happened, so that you guys don't let life get you down like that, because I was so upset with myself afterwards. I was so upset that I let life get me down the way I did. And I'm trying to make sure I never, ever, ever, ever let life get me down like that again. But what had happened was I was walking back towards my portion of the neighborhood. And it was really hot, like I told you guys it's been. So I wanted some water. Well, 
I already needed to go pee. But my little brain was like, it's fine. We can hold it. We'll add just a little bit more water on top. So I drank some water. Well, what my brain and my bladder didn't do was talk to one another and tell them that it was okay. Or I don't know, vice versa. My bladder tell my brain like, this isn't going to happen. So I drank the water and then you know when you know that you like have to pee at that very moment and it's like, oh my gosh, I really got to pee like right, right now. I had that moment. And most of the time I could stop myself like from peeing and I could get to a bathroom and then like literally pee just at the right moment. Like pulling down the pants, pee starting to try to come out. But... <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you guys this. This is how much I want you guys to understand how real I'm trying to be with you. I peed on myself in broad daylight in front of everyone that was passing by. Just peed. And it made me cry like It was horrible. I hated it. I don't enjoy, sorry, <laughs> I don't enjoy peeing on myself. Like, it's not something I do for fun. <laughs> um, I haven't peed on myself since I was in like eighth grade. And I hated it then too. So I ended up peeing on myself. I ended up getting really, really sad. I like ran away from the situation and the area that it happened in. <laughs> and I called my best friend like, hey, could you pick up your phone? And they were dealing with some stuff here at the house with their puppy. And of course I didn't know that. I was just freaking out. So I was blowing up their phones like, oh my gosh, you guys, oh my gosh, you guys, just please answer, just please answer. At the same time, I'm trying to walk towards my house because right now I just feel disgusted like I feel disgusted with myself I feel so unclean it's like oh I felt so cringy so nasty it was beyond belief like beyond yuck 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 that's just how I felt but um so I ended up finally getting hold of my best friend she asked me what was wrong I told her because by this time I'm crying like I'm bawling and um I told her straight out I was like I just peed myself dude and she's like no freaking way dude and I'm like yeah I literally just peed on myself and not like yeah oh accidentally peed a little no like I full-blown pissed myself and it was ridiculous I hated it I was so upset with myself I felt so disgusted and so dirty and all I wanted to do was get home but I kind of got upset with her because they weren't answering their phone. So she got upset. So we were both kind of upset. We ended up hanging up. I kept walking home. And um, she called me back, calmer, her, and she's like, hey, dude, what can I do? What do you want me to do? And I'm like, I'm just trying to get home right now. I just want to get clean. That's all I want right now. I just want to get clean. So I ended up making it home. Um, are you getting the fly that's over there, Bebe? It's on Mommy's purse. Please knock it off my purse. Um, I don't like flies, you guys. But, I ended up making it home. I changed, I showered. Well, I showered, then changed. And while I was clean, I still felt so disgusted with myself. And that's why I didn't end up finishing the day. Like, I wasn't sold out. I could have went back out, finished my neighborhood. That's where I was going to begin with, was to go around my neighborhood. But I just felt so disgusting and so just sad and worthless that I let life get me down in that moment. And it wasn't until later on in the evening that I realized how much I had let life get me down for something so minute. Something that... No one else truly knew except me and my best friend. And I felt more ashamed of that than I did for peeing on myself in public. And I just, I don't know, at that moment, I just felt so disgusting. Like, I'm an adult. 
adults aren't supposed to do things like that. It was just, ugh. And in reality, things happen. Crap happens. How, do you mind? I'm talking. I petted you for like an hour and a half this morning. You can calm down. Get over here. Sorry, he's been needy today. Thank you. I don't like you on me like that. Meh, meh, meh. Um, but I was just so ashamed that I let life get me down for something so little. Something that no one knew. I could have went back out there after I changed and showered and all of that. And I could have not let life get me down. But I did. And I hope that you guys hearing this story realize that we're all humans. And things happen to all of us. And while it may not be that you peed on yourself, maybe you pooped yourself one time. I've heard a story on a podcast like that before. Thankfully, that's never happened to me. I'm so sorry for anyone that's ever happened to. But my point is, you can't judge each other because of these things. It happens to everyone. Who knows why it happened? Who knows what happened to cause that situation to happen? Who knows... Excuse me real quick. But I just hope that you guys understand that we're all humans. We all have crappy stuff happen to us. So I hope that you guys don't judge anybody because of anything. And if you guys want to comment down below and laugh at me, go ahead. I've gotten past it. Yeah, it sucked. I peed on myself, but that's life. It's okay. I moved on was disappointed in myself because of that moment I let life get me down but it's life um so I really hope that this video helped you guys not one not only one see that you shouldn't be ashamed of anything that ever happens to you it's life things happen it's going to happen two I hope you guys understand that I am trying to be 100% real with you on each and every single one of my videos. That's why I haven't been editing them lately. I've just been shoving them up. It's not because I don't want to give you guys great content. It's because I want you guys to see what I truly do each and every day. What I truly go through each and every day. <coughs> I know I just stopped our story time to yell at my dog because he's being bad. But you guys don't need to hear me yell at my dog. And if you want to hear me yell at my dog. I guess let me know that's a weird thing to request <laughs> but he's been a brat these past couple days so that's that's a whole other thing but um I hope each and every single one of you have a wonderful day remember you guys are loved no matter what you think no matter what you're going through you are loved because I love you and I appreciate everyone that watches my videos I hope I hope I help you in some way. I hope I make you smile because it honestly makes me smile. Every time somebody likes one of my videos or they subscribe to my channel, it makes me smile because I'm like, wow, you enjoy my videos enough to do that. So thank you. I appreciate it. I really, really do. I'm going to be starting doing shout outs here soon um, at the end of my videos. So if you want a shout out, go ahead, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, anything. Um, Hit me up on Instagram, on Facebook, Twitter. Okay, I'm not really on Facebook. Don't hit me up on Facebook, you guys, okay? Facebook is like the worst place you could probably hit me up on. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Those are the three places I'd be at. But I will talk to you guys later. I will see you guys in the vlog for today. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so very much for taking the time to listen to this stupid, weird, awkward story. <laughs> have a good day, you guys. Peace.